What's happening in the real estate market globally? That's the question of the hour. Well, first, let me start off by saying that I'm just reporting what analysts and real estate experts across the nation are predicting. I nor no one else can actually control or predict what will happen. According to Goldman Sachs, JP Morgan, Wells Fargo, Bank of America, and several other analysts, they're all predicting economic growth in the third quarter, ranging from 15 to 25%. A graph statistic from Opportunity Insights shows that most businesses ranging from healthcare to transportation all had a decline in consumer spending in the first half of the year, with the exception of groceries, which actually went up. So it's good news that predictions from analysts are that we will see progress in the third quarter as compared to the first half of the year. In fact, according to Lisa Shallett, the CIO of Morgan Stanley, she states, and I quote, indeed the worst ever GDP reading could be followed by the best ever third quarter. So we are starting to see a rebound. Small businesses obviously have been impacted due to the issues that are happening across the globe. But how has this impacted the real estate market nationally? How have we recovered there? Well, I'm going to show you a few quotes from several economists and real estate analysts regarding the recovery of the housing market. And it's very interesting. It almost reads like a movie trailer here. Realtor.com says astonishing rebound. Housing wire shockingly strong. Adam Data Solutions pulled something out of a high wire act in the second quarter. Zillow stared the pandemic right in the eye and hasn't blinked. Myers research has been nothing short of remarkable. So it seems that housing may play a critical role in the recovery. Since about the middle of May, the weekly showings of housings, people are out in full force in homes across the nation. People are looking at homes now more than they ever were from previous throughout the entire year. According to the National Association of Realtors, the housing market index looks into four things, demand, supply, price and time on market and combines this together and creates an index. We see a rise and dip and now we are above where we were in February of the year. It shows that we are recovering strongly. So the question is, what's going to happen with pricing? What should you do? We'll continue to watch my video series and we will get into more details on that. Cynthia Porpora with Icon Group and EXP Realty. And as always, let us know if there's anything at all we can do for you.